Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the domain. Look what we have in front of us today, the Ghost of Requiem. This is just honestly uh, a real testament to how far Mega have come recently. They've done a lot of repackaging, repurposing, redesigning how they produce their sets, how they present their sets, kind of everything really. You can feel it all the way through, you know. They did a couple of years of solid Halo Infinite sets, but then eventually they said, no, we need to give the fans something else. We don't want them to get burnout just on Infinite releases. We want to be able to touch the old sets. And boy, they did just that. This is a Amongst the first wave of specifically Halo Universe sets. Technically, the Falcon Sweep is a Halo Universe set, but it doesn't have the Halo Universe branding. Maybe the Falcon Sweep was just meant to be just a normal Halo release uh, without any proper repurposing or branding, and then they decided to go all in with a full wave of Halo Universe sets. We've got the Ghost of Requiem, we've got the Arbiter's Quest, new Halo heroes, new blind bags, all celebrating everything that came before. And the Ghost of Requiem is, uh, I, I don't I don't know if it's my favorite one from the series, from this year's lineup. I, th I think it might be because, I, I mean, the ODST Hive Exterminators is probably my favorite set, particularly because of the value for money in the paint apps, but this is just so good, man. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'll say it honestly, we've had a couple of lame ghosts released, okay? Both of the banished ghosts, they were okay. The the hijacked ghost, I thought, was, was not very good. Very cartoonish, very lacking in detail, honestly lacking in pieces. It was was just a very weird design to me. But the Banished Ghost before that was pretty good. But we haven't had a proper Covenant Ghost in so long. And this is kind of Storm Covenant. And you can tell that by the, I think, the slightly different metallic purple. It's not your traditional Covenant purple. Then again, it is the same kind of purple that we have with the Arbiter's Quest. So maybe that's just the direction they're moving in with their color choices. Get Lahar is an interesting one. And this figure has actually proven me wrong. It's way better than I thought it would be. The Grunt is is just a grunt for grunt's sake, and these two marines are phenomenal. Halo 4, Halo 5 marines are kind of my favorite, low-key. They're just a really awesome military design. There's so much to talk about with this ghost, so much to talk about with these figures as well. Here we are, the Ghost of Requiem. So we're gonna start this with, yeah, the throwaway, the grunt. I have said this in uh, previous videos, the uh, paint apps on grunts have kind of ground to a halt. They've stopped putting uh, even any kind of paint apps on the face or on the mask. Usually there would be, say, like, a silver paint app on this uh, methane tank filter thing, pipe, <laughs> but uh, nothing here. I do like the inclusion of an actual Mega Blocks piece, Mega Constructs piece there. But in general, it's just, it's nice to see this grunt revisited. I was always surprised, actually, that we got new articulation grunts because we'd got a few different iterations and different sizings, and I didn't know if they were ever going to get new articulation. And things like the Goblin came out, and it had an awesome new articulation grunt, and we've just uh, sort of rolled from there. I do really like the color choices here. Uh, the copper, uh, uh, coppery orange is a nice contrast to this, uh, this skin tone, but at the same time, they kind of feel like they work together very well. A very basic Covenant plasma pistol, nothing to ring home about, but you know, I thought I'd get that one out of the way first. I do also want to mention, the base plates here are quite interesting, right? This is Cesse Refumi from the Arbiter's Quest, and this is the base plate from the new Ghost of Requiem. You can see how this one has the old school, like, bleeding effect, where every piece is slightly different with different colors and dark tones seeping through. I think there was one piece, yeah, this one's way more obvious, way, uh, way different, but it means every piece is different. But this one is speckled effects, so it's nice that they're going for both between sets. And we have four base plates. My fourth one is just in the other room, but yeah, Geklaha does have a base plate. The two Marines, man, are just exceptional. We've got a Halo 4, 5 era spanker and battle rifle, which makes sense. I was never a real fan of this design, particularly the fact that uh, Marines can't really hold it very well. It's like a little little clunky, I don't know. But the weapons are the afterthought here. I'm more interested in these marines. And they have a lot of detail, man. Mega could have easily just gone for the exact same design, but both of these chests are very different. And this one has a different leg attachment to his armor pieces. And talk about the color choices. I love the green undersuit. I love these uh, these dark sort of uh, jungle colors versus the sort of desert approach. They're amazing. It's also nice to see that these marines come with backpacks because a lot of the time, 
figurines actually don't nowadays. But man, I just love this color choice. I honestly think it's exceptional. Nice to see two different skin tones and the removable helmets. The helmets can be a little tight, especially on the nose, but I mean, that doesn't matter. And we can see, yeah, the nose definitely catches the helmet. Oh no, I decapitated him. Ah, oh, my poor Marine, I'm so sorry, brother. We've seen these basic heads many times before in a lot of different sets. It is a shame that now all Marines do have a hole uh, because I don't want all of my Marines helmeted. But then again, uh, the same goes for Geklaha. I would not have included a helmet with Geklaha and I would have filled in that hole, but that's just up to me. That's my personal preference. They are also gloved Marines and, and just ha really the paint apps are surprisingly good, right? We've got this nice silver on the chest, perfectly matches his other pieces of his armor. And then these little black highlights on this chest, while not the most detailed, not the most paint apps, they still work. Also the additional paint apps of the eyebrows and the eyes are very nice. These are two of my all-time favorite Marines. The way these leg straps wrap around look very natural. The fact that this one is fully armored gives me more of like a heavy weapon specialist feel, which makes sense if you give him the rocket launcher. And this one more of a standard military serviceman's role with the battle rifle. Like this looks like the Marine that you find all over Halo 4 and 5, which I do love. I have a deep love for these Marines. What I really hope is that Mega eventually makes a Marine tribute pack. Ah, th these are going to go down to some of my favorite Marines. I think I do need to army build this ghost a bit more, but I haven't seen it in person yet. I got sent this one, so we're going to have to see how that develops. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. How about this Geklaha? Now this did surprise me. First of all, he has a nice energy sword. I like that Mega leans between, this is clearly their Halo 4, 5 energy sword. Everything else is the uh, the old school sword. And it's nice that they have both in development, in production right now. This Geklaha did surprise me a lot. He's got really great speckled effects running all the way through his arms and well, any skin that's showing. And he does have the new elite hand, which is great. He holds the energy sword really well. And then all of these little yellow lights on his chest, one, two, three, even on his little pelvis there. I don't know of any pelvis that have ha that's had painted detail before. And then two on his legs as well. When I first saw Ghost of Requiem announced, I was very happy with it, but I did think that the uh, Geklaha was a bit of a weird choice because it's just an elite. Like I know that Geklaha in the game doesn't have the hand of Didact on his chest, but I would have liked that anyway to show that he was, you know, part of the hand of Didact and Julem Dharma's second hand man. But I still love this and I do think that Mega uh, went out of their way to make this a special figure, make something that is not just a copy and paste Halo 4 5 Elite, because that's what a lot of people thought. They were like, are you you're just putting a Halo 4 Elite in there and calling it Geklaha? No, it is legitimately, it has a lot of paint apps and it stands out from the crowd. It does feel like its own official figure, so I'm very happy about that. That one did surprise me a lot. This is also a continuation of a set design that Mega's been doing for quite a while, which includes one small vehicle and four figures. We've had the Recon Getaway, the Hijack Ghost, the Gungoose Gambit, and now this. And this one, gotta say, it's the best because of this ghost. Would you just take a second to look at this? Just appreciate it, soak it in. It is gorgeous. Like, it is absolutely gorgeous. And my camera can barely even pick it up because it's such a minute detail. But there are some gorgeous, tiny, little, hexagonal prints. Like, it's sort of like a honeycomb. And again, it's really hard to see. You can just about see it running all the way here. It's like, what kind of level of detail is that? I saw that, you know, when the ghost was originally announced. I thought it looked great. I didn't realize it was also on all three of these pieces and all three of these pieces. Such high quality man like that is a fine detail of printing that i've never seen on a, a building brick of any sort we do technically have the same piece that we had for the hijack ghost here the only reason that's a shame is because it's still got this hole that was used for that ghost so i would have rather that was sealed up but that is a minor minor discrepancy we have these lovely covenant-esque symbols on the sides and then a gorgeous printed display there i absolutely love this a really interesting interesting design choice is using a piece of a UNSC turret as the foothold. But you know what? It works really well. It's such a bizarre choice having a UNSC turret reimagined into this, but it works. And then we got to talk about these lightning pieces. Oh my goodness, these lightning pieces. What a smart move. Cause like, I don't know about you, I'm a little sick of the, the just the general transparent, translucent bricks that hold these ghosts up because they're always just right on the floor. When a ghost in reality is hovering quite significantly higher than just right on the base of the floor. And this gives it a much 
more realistic, much more... I mean, just, just it's just alive, right? Like, these are gorgeous. And then I haven't even talked about this delightful little printed detailing here on this stud that just immediately brings the engine to life. And again, it's things like that that were completely absent from the previous Ghosts. This diagonal piece locks it all together, brings the front to the back. The translucent piece in there makes it feel like there's a whirring engine inside. I mean, it's the greatest Ghost ever made, obviously. Like, there's no competition. It, it, it's exceptional. I usually say it with figures. If you paused and you didn't obviously see my hand, this could be a McFarlane ghost. This could be a huge, huge vehicle. This could be Jazzwares. Like, it, it, it's just so realistic. Like, it really, really does feel like an, like an actual ghost from the game, which obviously Mega should be striving to achieve more and more uh, sort of photorealistic, if you'd call it, um, graphical realistic designs, builds. I, I just, the more I stare at it, man, like the more I look at this thing, the more I'm just still completely blown away by it. I am so, so impressed by this ghost. I don't remember a vehicle, even a large scale vehicle with this many printed pieces, especially the fact that it's so cheap and it comes with four highly detailed figures. If you compare the level of detail of this, particularly the, cause mon you know, Mega spends a lot of money on prints, right? It costs to print onto products. They've just not only, like if you compare this to say like the Recon Getaway or the Gungoose Gambit or the Hijack Ghost, no way near the same level of detail. No way near, particularly for the vehicle. There have been some really great figures in those other sets, though I do think this Get Klaha uh, stands out, particularly for its tiny little paint apps and speckled skin, and these two Marines being such fantastic color choices. One of my favorite sets of all time, guys, like absolutely exquisite. Doesn't come with an alt build and barely comes with any spare pieces, but honestly, that's probably because the budget went on the printing and the figure design, and I am so for that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful time to be an MCX collector and particularly for your marines. We got the marine from Halo 3's redesign coming in the elephant sand trap. We've got the Halo 2 marines design that came in the universe series one blind bags. We got these gorgeous ones. Now we need another chips dubo because he only came in one blind bag series and I need more of that guy. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. If you want to check out an even more detailed review, please do head over to Demarcation Media. He always has a very highly detailed review of his products. I give this a glowing 10 out of 10. There are a couple of mild things I would have changed like an extra paint up on that grunt and the removal of this hole but I mean they're so small in the grand scheme of how epic this set is and I hope I did uh, put that across let me know in the comments down below if you've managed to bag this set yet and which figure you're excited for the most and also new packaging who dis like this is so nice I love the the just the boldness of this big mega you can see this from a mile away you know exactly what you're buying it's very clear very crisp nice color choices I love the new packaging design so shout out to you all your ch whoa, 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 my uh, speech went a little bit there. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. And the ghost is signing off.